Happy? Buzzing. Ready? Yeah. Good. Jermaine, welcome back. You were once again a Sunderland AFC player. Yeah. How does it feel to hear those words? I can't stop smiling. <laughs> I can't stop smiling. It's mad to be honest, it's mad. Um, but obviously it's a special, a special move for me for many reasons. Um, to be honest, I've said, I got a, loads, a lot of messages today, as you can imagine, and a few people said to me, oh, do you remember when you said you could, you'll come back? And I remember saying it when I left. Uh, I wasn't ready to leave, to be honest. If I'm being totally honest, I wasn't ready to leave at the time when I left. And I remember saying, I'll be back one day, and so I just put it out in the universe, and, and here we are, and it's happened, and I'm, I'm, I'm obviously delighted. There's been weeks of speculation, will you return, won't you return, but yeah. it's always been Sunderland, right? Of course, I mean, there's, there's um, obviously there's been other clubs that have been inter interested in, <clears throat> I suppose when you sort of like get to the back end of your career and the phone's still ringing, it's a, it's, a, it's a good feeling. But at the end of the day, I've always dedicated myself, like, you know, I've always worked hard, I've always trained and I've sort of like prepared myself for these sort of moments where, you know, you can sort of like prolong your career and play for, and, and up until this, this age. So um, all the, so over the, the course of the last month or so, all the managers that I spoke to, that's obviously shown interest. Obviously, I want to thank them, um, but I've made the decision to come here. Um, like I just mentioned before, for many reasons, football, the club's in a, in a fantastic position to, to get promoted back into the to the championship. Um, you know, the fans are unbelievable. I had a, a special bond with the fans here. Um, Bradley, you know, the family. Gemma's been messaging me every morning, <laughs> every morning. What's going on? Are you coming back? And not only that as well. I think for my family as well to to come back and experience the the love that I got from here and, and experience hopefully some special times here. So yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Talk us through your emotions. We saw what happened when you drove into the training ground, but yeah. talk us through the emotions of driving down here today, knowing where you were coming and then walking yeah. back through the doors downstairs. It was obviously, it was, it was, a, it was a strange feeling. Um, and I don't think you'll probably sink in yet. Uh, I think not until you sort of like get your boots on and you go out on the training pitch and, and I go to the stadium, walk out in front of those fans then it would really sink in. But it was strange, you know, driving up up to the gates and stuff. But um, as you can imagine, it's an amazing feeling. Sometimes when you, when someone, when people ask you questions like this, it's hard to, to find words to actually describe it, but it was really, really special, yeah. If this is the last dance, the final stage of your playing career, yeah. is this the perfect finale? It is, and you know, um, I mean, it's like a fairy tale, isn't it? It's like a movie. Um, hopefully it's a good one um, and like the first time I signed, I remember thinking, you know, I just want to go there and make an impact. Um, just show the fans how good I am. Um, score goals. Um, over the years, the club's had some fantastic goal scorers. So yeah, just and and, and all I want to do, I, I mean, it's the, the same person really that's come back. Probably a little bit older. Um, I think my legs are, legs are still still <laughs> strong and stuff, but um, same mentality, same hunger, the same fire inside of me. You know, want to want to want to score goals and and sort of like add to the goals that I've already scored here. So I think that'd be, that for me, that's, that's sort of like my motivation. The ambition this season is very clear. How confident are you that promotion can be achieved and you can play a real part in that? You have to be confident. You have to, you have to I think it's important to just approach it like, approach like any other game, look to the next game. Um, don't look beyond that, to be honest. Um, have that sort of belief in the dressing room and around the place. Because obviously everyone's together, um, that we can, we can all do it collectively. Um, Train hard every day. Um, listen to listen to the, the the manager, whoever that be, and and the coaches, and 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 stick to the game plans and, and believe that we can we can we can do it. I think if you if you have that belief, um, then then I think you, you nothing's nothing's really stopping you. Then let's run it back. What was the highlight of your first spell? Probably the volley. <laughs> volley against Newcastle, of course. I mean, there's obviously many highlights, um, but I think the volley. Um, was 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 special, and people still talk about that now. They always talk about ah oh, your best goal, and, and even even before I can answer, they will say ah oh, the volley against Newcastle. That was a, a, a special day for me, and I, you know, crying like a baby as well. Um, <laughs> that's how much it meant to me. But definitely, so if I can if I can do that again, obviously not against Newcastle, but if I can score goals like that again, it would be it would be great. I know your time here before had a real emotional bond, not just with the club but with the city as well. You mentioned Gemma texting you every morning. Yeah, she must be delighted to have you back in the northeast. Of course, yeah, she's 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 delighted, and and and, and since I've left, I've I've kept in contact with the family. Um, obviously, I think it's well documented that you know there's there's a new baby in the family, which I'm which I'm looking forward to to meeting. I've got all the pictures on my phone, 
Um, so, yeah, it's a special time for everyone. Um, and I just want to get started, to be honest. Just want to get started. It's a special time for, obviously, my, my, my family, um, my fiance, who's obviously not experienced the, the, um, the atmosphere in the stadium. Um, so, so yeah, everyone's looking forward to it. A um, lot of pressure on me, but <laughs> here we, do you know what I mean? Used to it, so I'm looking forward to it and I, I can't wait to get started. Gemma's not the only one applying pressure. I don't think you've been working for Sky Sports as well. What's Dave Jones been like? Dave Jones, wow. <laughs> Dave, do you know what? Dave's been brilliant, to be honest. Um, I remember ages ago he asked the question, oh, what's going on? Fancy coming back one day, <laughs> sort of thing. So <laughs> he's doing two jobs. <laughs> but no, nah, Dave's proper good guy and I've been on the phone to him and um, and he just wants me to come back and just enjoy it you know he said Jay you enjoy you, you, you deserve it you know the career that you've had to come back and he said you know you're coming home so so just come back and just enjoy it you know score goals and, and, and hopefully help us get over the line because you know the last few years have been so close um, some top players down there and uh, and uh, you know he believes that we can do it so yeah good to be a part of it the squad's still taking Formation players arriving like you on deadline day. It's a really strong squad, isn't it, that we're building here? Of course, it's a strong squad, and and I keep mentioning obviously having that belief on that. But that's the that's 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 the key thing. I'm looking forward to working with the younger players, and hopefully, I can give them a lot. Um, I'll always be approachable. They can come up to me and speak about anything. Obviously, keep them on their toes. <laughs> uh, make sure we're all in it together. Have, make sure everyone's working hard uh, because the reward is so big. Um, so, all the sort of like sacrifices and all the hard work. It's for something so special at the end, so it's all worth it at the end. So, um, yeah, that's all I want to do, really. Just obviously give something back and help the younger lads to to sort of like push and 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 get back where where the club should be. Yeah, I've been on the wind up a little bit on Insta. It's funny, man. Bagel sales have gone through the roof in Essex. Really? She must be buzzing, you know. <laughs> she always tries to get. She always says to me every time I get a bagel from there, oh, you got to post it. And then I went there a few days before, got the bagel, finished the bagel. I was like, oh no, I forgot. So I went in and I was like, yeah, no, that's what I'm posting. The fans have been ringing, asking if you said anything when you went in the shop. No way. I swear to God. Oh my God. <laughs> I, bet, hey, I'll be, I hope I, I ain't paying for a bagel again anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't paying for a bagel again. We saw the fans when you drove in this yeah. evening. How much is it going to mean walking back out of the stadium with light with red and white on? <sighs> it's going to be crazy. Um, it's going to be something that I've been thinking about for weeks. Um, and. To be honest, for, for a footballer, it's probably the worst time, to be fair, because you're sort of like, you're at home and you're sort of like waiting for the deal to get done. Um, and you're sort of like itching to, to just get started. And you're obviously excited, you're anxious, all these different emotions and stuff like that. Um, but now it's done, I'm, I'm obviously delighted and just want to get started. And, you know, obviously driving here, seeing the fans, I mean, it's what's the time now? It's midnight, do you know what I mean? It's, it's, it's unbelievable. But we know the support here is special anyway, so. So yeah, and when I walk, when I walk down that tunnel, it's gonna it's gonna be mad. I can't wait. And you number two, number ten, mm. number eighteen. Ellis Taylor's got that. Okay. He'll be keeping a close eye on him, I imagine, yeah. making sure he does it justice. Yeah, of course he has to. <laughs> number eighteen shirt. I'm sure he will, and hopefully I can help him as well um, along the way. Um, but but to be fair, I like I like number ten. I think when was last I think I won number ten years ago. My school team. I love number ten. Hopefully it'll bring me luck. Um, but yeah. And finally, what would it mean to you to come back here and earn promotion with the team? I think that's the sort of like the the reason why I'm here, to be honest. You know, and I love a challenge. I love a challenge, and and obviously that's the the main objective. You know, you wanna you wanna get promotion. Um, and I just think not only for me and you know the the players, the staff. You know, I think for the fans as well. Um, everyone involved in a football club would be so special. I don't even think the, the boys probably don't even realise how special it would be. Um, but to get there, to get promotion would be because it's always hard to get promotion in any, in any any league. It's difficult to get promoted. It's a tough ask and that. Um, but I believe that we could do it because I've watched loads of the games, and all the signs are there. You know, I've seen some 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 good things from a lot of the lads. Um, so to get promotion would be so special for everyone. Yeah.